Hi everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great day. Mine's good. Started with Starbucks, so it can't be that bad. Ah, okay. I've got a few things I made for you today. I have a little surprise. Um, I don't have a lot made. I don't have a lot made. I spent most of the rest of last week and over the weekend catching up on my orders. And I'm, I was just about done. Just, just about done. Only one left that didn't need to be ready until September. So that's great. I can put that aside for a little while. One, I sent out a partial order because she needed those right away. Oh, and she was lovely. She sent me pictures of what she ordered and she had gotten a couple tassels and she put them on um, journals on the sides of the journal. Oh, it looks so pretty. And one, she put a ladybug next to a journal that she made. Oh, I loved it. It was just so nice that she sent me a picture like that and showed me what she was using these for. She has one more um, tassel and maybe she hasn't finished what she's working on and what she's going to use that one for, but I really appreciated that. That really made me feel good that I got to see what somebody is using the items I make for, for them. It was nice. I really enjoyed that. So thank you. You know who you are. I don't mention my buyer's names. It's just something I don't do. So that's good. So of course, because I worked on that all weekend and and uh, Thursday, Friday, maybe, I, I forget. I didn't have a whole lot of time to do plushies. But I was creeping around on Instagram like we all do, looking for free patterns and different things that I could make for my market. And I came up upon a tester call. And, oh my gosh, these things were just so cute. So cute. Of course I didn't get picked for the call because I truly and honestly believe that younger crocheters do not pick old ladies like me to test for them. They probably think I can't do it. Surprise, I've been doing it for over 50 years. I know how to crochet. <laughs> So I didn't get picked for the test, but I did buy the pattern when it came up. So I made those. I'll show you that tonight. Uh, this afternoon, it's not tonight yet. And caught up on something else that I had a little bit of it done, but didn't finish. So those are done. And I've been pretty much concentrating on little things for the market. I'd rather have a lot of small items that I can sell for less money that will more, more probably sell than my 30 40 50 dollar items. I'm not going to take my hundred dollar dragon with me. I don't think anybody would buy that and anyhow he's mine. I don't want to sell him. <laughs> I just put a big high price on him knowing that people wouldn't buy it. At least at that market I used to do. Which I'm not doing anymore. So that was that. So I really only crocheted yesterday and Monday. So not a lot. But I did put together something else for you. And I did spend a little time on my paper crafting side. So I was busy. I had a busy week. I just didn't get a lot, a lot done for today what I did get I think you're gonna like I think they were adorable and that's pretty much it I don't think this is gonna be a very long video because I don't have a whole heck of a lot to say <laughs> not a whole heck of a lot to say I want to think of something exciting to tell you but this is not an exciting week for me it is doctor and vets doctors and vets <laughs> One uh, half my day is spent out going to appointments, so it's a bad week. 
but I think I'm good for the rest of the month after this, so hopefully. I do have a bluey that was ordered. Of course, I get done, and then I get a bluey ordered, and I got another tassel ordered, and I have to start that bluey, so I'll probably start that later today. I want to get that done and go on because I do have a test to do on another item. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I hope to have it finished by next Wednesday so I can show it to you then. So those are two big items that I have to do. Bluey takes time and the new one will definitely take time. So look for that next week. Probably won't be showing you the bluey. Maybe I'll take a picture of me with it and put it on my thumbnail because I need to get that out to the person who ordered it. And I don't like to hold on to orders. I like to send them as soon as I finish them and people have paid for them. It's not fair to say, oh, sit around for four days well, so I can show it on a video. I won't do that. And I never remember to take pictures. Never, never, never remember to take pictures. I have to get better with that must get better with that. So that's what's coming up next week. That's what I'm going to work on. And then today I bought two more patterns. So more new things. I just, <laughs> one is so cute and it just cracked me up. We all laughed at it. Um, Jerry, the lady who cleans my house every other week, came in and she says, oh, my daughter loves this. And she showed me a picture and I just cracked up. And I said, where did she find this? She goes, I don't know. She says, I think I'm Pinterest. So we were trying to find it because this is really cute. I wouldn't mind making this. So I finally went on Etsy and looked and I found it on Etsy. So I bought that pattern. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So you have some surprises. And I will make one for her daughter. But I will make a couple for my market too, because they are <laughs> so cute. So cute. What was the second one I bought? Oh, yes. Second one I bought. Sharks seem to be the big thing right now. Everybody's making sharks. And excuse my Rhode Island accent. Everybody has a problem when I say shock. I know it sounds like S-H-O-C-K because we don't know what an R is in Rhode Island or Massachusetts. <laughs> so it's a shock, not a shark. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> um, and it's from Wonder Crochet. Just came available today to buy and I've watched her videos on it and I just think it's so cute. It's not a mean shock, it's a cute shock. So <laughs> I'm laughing at myself saying shock now. <laughs> uh, so I look forward to making that. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. Just like the three beers, porridge. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going off onto crazy little tangents. So I guess you really wanna see what I made, which is gonna not take a whole heck of a lot of time. So if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I showed you little gnomes that I was making. Well, I had made ahead of time. When you make these gnomes, you make the beard and the nose and attach them right away. So when you do the rest of them, the hat and the body, you can just crochet that piece in. It's all one piece. Um, so I had two beard and nose pieces finished that I hadn't made gnomes for, so I figured I I need to get these made. So, my favorite color, my favorite color is green. And I didn't make a green one yet, so I did. And isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? I think these things are so cute. And it's something that I can sell for not a whole heck of a lot of money. And who doesn't love a gnome? Who doesn't love a gnome? They're so cute. I made my green one and I made a brown one because someone suggested make something in neutrals. People like neutrals. So here you go. Here's your neutral gnome. Neutral gnome. So he's 
toffee and chocolate, I believe. Toffee and chocolate. So I think he's cute. I wasn't sure if I was going to like him in brown, but I do. I like him a lot in brown. Cutie, cutie. I was debating, and this is probably my paper crafting side sneaking into my crochet side, but I was wondering, gee, maybe I should put a little something on his hat or try to get his arms to come forward enough to hold something, but it, I don't think his arms are long enough to do that. See, it doesn't come close enough. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think like a little something something on here would be cute? Like brown, what could I put on here? I don't know. I have lots of charms, a lot of charms and, and uh, stuff like that, that I could probably sew on or something just to give him a little pizzazz. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Oh, just leave him. Just leave the gnome alone. Not sure what I have. I don't know if I would have something for all of them, but um, just something I'm thinking of. So I have six of these made now. I think that's enough. I don't think I'll make more than that for the market. And we'll test them and see how it goes. So like I told you, I was on Instagram. Excuse me, I have to take a sip. I was on Instagram and this tester call came up and I just loved it. I don't know why this just struck me as so cute, but it did. So I bought the pattern a couple days ago and there's four different items that came in the pattern. And it was funny when I got it, it was four different patterns, not one big pattern that has four items on it. It's four separate patterns. So I, I just bought it. I just really liked it. And there was another one I bought from her as well and I haven't had time to make it. So that'll be something for next week. So what it is, is Halloween. And I never do anything in Halloween, but I'm going to do a little bit this year since our market is the weekend of October 12th and 13th or 11 and 12th, something like that. And so I figured, oh, well, a few Halloween things will be okay. Not too much. I, I agree with Robin that holiday theme things are used for such a short amount of time. I think people prefer something they can leave out longer or for a longer time but these just caught my eye and I thought they were adorable and they are decorated stress balls <laughs> I just think it's so cute and what it is is a little stress ball that you can squeeze and then it has a little cape or whatever covering that goes around it. You just pop them back in there. And I thought it was so cute. And I thought, I was thinking about it and I said, well, this is probably more geared towards adults if, if you really use it as a stress ball. But I don't know, maybe kids would like it too. But I have them geared towards adults. I thought they would be really, really cute on someone's desk at work. You know, you always get stressed at work. So these are my Halloween desk pets, say. <laughs> and I just thought it was so cute. So you take the ball out when you need it and you squish it and squish it and then you put them back and he's so cute and it sits cute. It sits very nice on tables. Not a problem. Love it. So this is the pumpkin. And these all came with one pattern. And this is the little black cat. Oh, I should say, when I made the, I made the pumpkin first because I knew it would be the easiest one. And I love it because I like making pumpkins. But I went according to the directions because I always do that the first time. And she used a three and a half millimeter hook 
to make these. So this came out pretty small. I wasn't crazy about it. I wasn't crazy about it. So I sent a picture of it to Robin and I said, I, it's just too small. I think I'm gonna go up to a four millimeter hook. And she says, nah, four and a half, four and a half. So I thought about it, thought about it. And then I went with her suggestion and went up to four and a half millimeter hooks. So I have to make another pumpkin so he can be a little bit bigger. But I made the cat, the black cat. And I put these eyes on him only so it showed up on the black. But his ears are so cute and he's got his little tail in the back. And again, they pop right out. And you got your stress ball. And then you just pop them back in and put them back on your desk or whatever, wherever you're, you're keeping them. And I just think they're so cute. What do you think? I'm not gonna make a ton of these because I don't know. I don't know how things will go over. I've never sold Halloween stuff, so I don't know. This is Grumpy's favorite. It's a little bat, a little bat. Be cute. His wings and his ears, and I put the same eyes on him because this is so dark. I think this color is eggplant, parfait chunky, and this one and the cat I did with the four and a half millimeter hook. So they came out a little bit bigger. Not as much bigger than as I thought they would. I thought they'd be even a little bigger than this, but I think this is a good size for stress balls. So that's the little bat. And the last one, oy, oy, oy. I don't know if I'm gonna make any more of these because they had a lot of work. And I'm a slow girl. I do not crochet very fast. And this took me a while. And you know, I wasn't nuts about the instructions on, on this particular one. And I'll show you why in a minute. But it's adorable. It is adorable. And it's the witch. Now she looks huge. She looks huge because she's got the hat and the hair and all of this stuff. So it makes it look a lot bigger than what it is. But the ball pot is the same as all the others. I didn't like the hair. I didn't like the hair, even putting the hat on it. Wasn't difficult. Well, the instructions were well and she even gave you a video on how to you have to put a row underneath the hat that you can attach the hat to. And the hat is made separately. And then you crochet it onto that row that you put underneath. And then the hair also attaches to that row underneath. This was work. This one took me quite a while to make. I think it's adorable. I think she'll sell. And I just don't know if I'll make any others. Maybe one more, maybe one more. I don't know, but this one took me a long time. It took me a long time. And then in the pictures, it shows her bangs curled like that, but they're not, see? They're... So I just stuck it up there and I'll decide if I wanna tack them down. I don't know. I don't know, apparently she didn't because it wasn't in the instructions anywhere. So that's my little witch. And I think she's so cute. So cute. Yes, you are. You're too cute to be a witch. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I made. That's all I made this week. But this one took me a long time. Took me a long time. Now, I don't know how many of you crafty, yarny people watch my Saturday videos where I do paper crafting things. But... I just reached 2,000 subscribers. Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited. I don't know, there's just something about increasing numbers that make you happy. It's not doing a whole heck of a lot for me, I don't think, but it just makes you feel good that people subscribe to your channel. So on Saturday, I did a giveaway which is very, very common in the paper crafting com community. We do it all the time. I can't tell you how many giveaways that I've done 
for my paper crafter subscribers. And I was always very strict that whoever applied to win had to be a visible subscriber to my channel. And I would check. I would spend forever looking to see if they were subscribed to me before I would enter them into contests. But then YouTube changed everything. And that sent us all for a loop because it became really hard to be able to tell if someone was subscribed to us or not. A lot of people you know, because I've been doing this for many years and I have very, very loyal subscribers on that side. So, you know, I see their names pop up. I know who they are. It's not an issue for me, but I can't do that now. I can't do that now. And so whoever did whatever I told them to do on that video, is getting entered into that giveaway and I will choose a winner on Saturday. But I've noticed watching the hundreds of videos that I watch for crochet and plushies especially that that doesn't happen here. And I wondered why, why, why once in a great while once in a great, great while, there may be a little something. More on Instagram than YouTube. Definitely more on Instagram. But like I told my subscribers on Saturday, they were responsible for getting me to a thousand subscribers. You, my yarny peeps, have been responsible for getting me to 2,000 subscribers and thank you thank you so much I so appreciate that it may not seem a lot to many of you but to me I'm just this little old lady in Florida doing what she loves and 2,000 people subscribe to me that's amazing to me it makes me so happy <laughs> ah happy girl so I said on Saturday I'm going to do two giveaways. I'm going to do a paper crafting giveaway which I put up on Saturday and I'm going to do a giveaway here as well for my yarn subscribers, for my plushy subscribers, for my crochet subscribers. And I'm going to ask something and I can't control this but I will ask it. If you do not crochet and I don't care what kind of crochet you do. You can do plushies, you can do blankets, you can do clothing, whatever. If you're a crocheter, welcome you, welcome you, want you to enter to win what I'm gonna give. If you're not, please don't enter. You know, it's just not fair. What, why am I gonna spend the money and do all of this to send this to someone who has absolutely no intention on using what I'm going to show you I'm sending. So be fair, be fair. There's the paper crafters, if, if that's what you prefer, there's one over there. If you're a crocheter and you'd like to win a little something, by all means, do, do enter this, this little giveaway. I would love that. I would love that. So I was trying to think of what I could do because I've never done one for crocheters before. So I decided I have a set of crochet hooks that I've never used and they're large size from six and a half to 10. So good, good sizes for Bernat blanket yarn and extra chunky yarns and, and stuff. And I had bought these because I didn't have any hooks that size. But it was just before Christmas and then my son bought me the clover hooks, the big size clover hooks. So of course I'm, I'm keeping the clover hooks, but these hooks I've never even used. So they came in this little package and I'm not saying they're the greatest in the world because I don't think they are, but I, I love the little case. What does this say? BCM run crochet hooks. I don't know. I didn't know what I was buying when I bought these. But the metal, which I prefer metal over 
plastic, but anyhow, they're brand new. I, I've never used these. So, and I think I would have liked the clover better anyhow, because this is a little bit thicker and I got real little hands. So the um, clover hooks are thinner here. So anyhow, there's a set of crochet hooks. Like I said, size six and a half millimeter to 10 millimeter. And then in here, I've got a little packet of stitch markers. I've got a few yarn, um, what do you call that? <laughs> yarn, you know, pull a yarn through the needle. <laughs> <That thing. laughs> and I put in a couple of, a couple of little um, yarn needles, a long one. It's about maybe three and a half inches long. And then a regular one. And then I put a metal one because some people might prefer a metal to plastic. So I got that package. And I said, well, I can't send out crochet hooks and all the little doodads that go with it without sending out yarn. So what I did, and I'm not going to show you because I want you to be a surprise if you wish, but I filled this big envelope with eight skeins of the Dollar Tree Just Chenille yarn. But I'll show you one of them. It's just Chenille Dollar Tree yarn. This is what I started making plushies with. I didn't know anything about chenille yarns when I started, nothing. All I ever used was um, yarns that I made blankets with and primarily baby blankets. I've made lots of Afghans too. And I made lots of beanies. I used to crochet tons of beanies and donate them to the uh, Hat Not Hate charity from Lion Brand Yarn. But I think they stopped it now. They weren't taking donations last year. So I have to check it out to see if they're doing any this year, because if they are, we usually have to ship them to them in August. So I picked out eight colors. So there's eight different colors in there. And let me tell you, they say it's a six weight. I don't know, some of them come thinner like this and they call it a six weight. I, I think it's more five. I don't know, I'm not sure. That pumpkin pie turtle I showed you last week, I made with this yarn. This is what I used. I like it, I like it a lot. You can only get it in the small skeins of Dollar Tree. If you buy it from Premier, it's those big giant cones with like a thousand yards on it for $25. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. When I run out of these, that's the end of this yarn. Although it did come back into Dollar Tree and I picked up more, which is why I can give some away. So that's my little giveaway. Eight skeins, eight different colors of the Just Chenille and that set of crochet hooks with all the little doodads that go along with it. And all you have to do is leave a comment and put enter me in your comment. So, and I will go through this and write down all the names of people who um, put enter me in their comments. If I get too many, <laughs> I don't know. I know there's a way of doing it on YouTube to pick a winner with certain things said in the comments. I'll have to look into that. But, um, so do that. This is going to be U.S. only. I'm so sorry, but postage outside of the U.S. is just way too expensive for me. Just way too expensive for me, and I can't do that. And I'm very, very sorry if you're from another country and you watch me. I so appreciate you. I can send you a card but I can't send you a package of yarn and hooks. I, I just can't do it. So US only, 18 years of age, and 
older. That's a YouTube rule. Um, leave the leave a comment, and in your comment, put enter me if you'd like to be entered. If I don't see that, then I won't enter you into the giveaway. Uh, I will choose a winner next Wednesday if that person doesn't reply within 48 hours I will choose another winner so I will pick a winner Wednesday by noon Friday whose ever name I call out needs to put a comment in next Wednesday's video saying they won and then you have to send me an email with your address of course so I can send you your price so don't know how you feel about me doing this on this end of my crafting but it's just something I really really wanted to do because I am so thankful I am so thankful that so many of you have subscribed to me I I'm thrilled I, I really am all right well this turned out to be a long video anyway didn't it because I'm blah 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 blabbing blabbing so let me know what you think of my little Halloween stress balls and my little uh, gnomes. And I'll have more new stuff for you next week. And good luck if you decide to enter my giveaway. And thank you again. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it more than you know. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And I will put the links to the gnomes and these stress balls in the description below if you want to go and check them out all right everyone have a wonderful rest of your week and until next time i'll have some videos up here that you can go watch see ya bye